Hello, everybody. My name is Gabby Jones. I work for Encryption Consulting. Encryption Consulting covers all the aspects of security concerns, such as data security, key management, and privacy. Today, we're going to be discussing an interesting concept in data encryption technology, symmetric encryption. First, we're going to dwell into understanding what is symmetric encryption and then what factors contribute and contributed to the success of this technique. Finally, we're going to discuss why symmetric encryption is not as popular in these days. So let's start with um, a brief introduction. Threat landscape is increasing multifold due to the major rays of digital age and growing importances of data. To mitigate these threats, industries are now following several data protection techniques and encryption is one of the major technologies in this suite. Let's understand several types of encryption that are in this session before we go on. There are basically two types of encryption. One is symmetric encryption and another is asymmetric encryption. Key plays an important role in these two types of encryption as it's used for encrypting and decrypting sensitive data. In, in symmetric encryption, only a single unique key is used for both encrypting and decrypting the sensitive content. In asymmetric encryption, two keys, one public key and a second private key are used for encrypting and decrypting sensitive content. What is symmetric encryption? If a single key is used to encrypt and decrypt data, then it is known as symmetric encryption. As of today, usage of symmetric encryption has gone down drastically due to multiple reasons. So now we're gonna understand the basics of symmetric encryption so that we can get into um, like benefits and reasons it's not used so much anymore. So symmetric encryption or symmetric cryptography is, um, using the same unique key for encryption and decryption. Due to this procedure of using the same key, symmetric encryption processes um, are easy to handle and manage. Symmetric keys have to be kept as secret as can be by both parties involved in the communication of sensitive messages. So what are some benefits of symmetric encryption? Symmetric key encryption offers ease of usage and management for the end users to perform their cryptographic processes. Compared to other encryption techniques, it's relatively cheaper to produce keys for symmetric encryption. Algorithms used are inexpensive as symmetric encryption does not offer complex or high enough level of security solutions. There are no significant time delays observed for encryption and decryption of data as compared to asymmetric encryption. So why has symmetric encryption just not been used as much in the latest digital age? Although symmetric encryption is easy to use and easy to implement, there are many setbacks for this encryption technology. Key management is a hectic task in the case of symmetric encryption as a new set of key pairs is required for every communication. For, for example, a population of a thousand users would require a set of nearly 500,000 keys. Parties involved in symmetric encryption have to exchange the keys publicly to access the data. This can lead to vulnerability of key loss and data loss as exchange has to retain the privacy of these keys. As both the sender and receiver of the message use the same key origin, the messages cannot be verified and authenticated. The biggest challenge is actually keeping the valuable keys a secret, which can become particularly challenging when the key has to be moved around so that encryption and decryption can occur in different places. If a symmetric key is lost, organizations cannot recall it. Instead, they must encrypt and decrypt data with a different key after they recover the data in an unencrypted form. What, uh, what's an alternative for symmetric encryption? Well, as you can probably guess, it is asymmetric encryption. Two major and basic encryption technologies used across the industries for protecting the sensitive data are symmetric encryption and asymmetric encryption. Both have their own merits and demerits while encrypting the data. 
Symmetric encryption uses a single key to encrypt and decrypt data. So the chances of key compromise is going to be higher because when you have asymmetric encryption, you have two keys to encrypt and decrypt data. So you're going to see a much higher risk of compromise in your system with symmetric encryption compared to asymmetric. Symmetric encryption is a relatively old technique and is used to encrypt big chunks of data. Asymmetric encryption is a new technique and is used for encrypting small chunks of data. Security of data transmitted is low in symmetric encryption when compared to asymmetric, as there's a single key usage and in asymmetric, two keys are used, public and private keys. Usual key size used in symmetric encryption. Uh, usually 128 or 256 bit keys um, are used for symmetric and with asymmetric encryption, RSA 2048 bit or higher key size is used. Symmetric encryption has a faster usage. It's a faster technique compared to asymmetric encryption as there is a very low level of complexity involved. Algorithms used in symmetric encryption are RC4, DES, 3DS, and Quad, whereas RSA, Diffie-Hellman, ECC algorithms are used for asymmetric encryption. So I think this is going to conclude our discussion about symmetric encryption and everything that goes on in it, why it's not used as often as asymmetric, all that wonderful stuff. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. We really appreciate it. If you are interested in learning more about encryption or data protection in detail, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications, give us likes, everything like that. So your feed, your algorithm is more uh, tuned to have our type of content to it. Um, be sure to contact us at encryptionconsulting.com if you have any type of confusion, any questions or comments, or if you just want more details about a certain subject, if we don't have it on our YouTube or anything like that. Uh, thank you again for watching the video. We'll see you next time.